Slay Squad, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you guys some items that I picked up. I know I say that I'm a broke college student and I am, but I love to shop as well. So also in this video, I'm going to be giving you guys some tips and tricks that I use to be able to get the things that I want. So if you're interested in seeing what I got and seeing how I afford the things that I got, just keep watching. The first item that I brought, I actually brought this from Macy's. There's a lot of Macs in Macy's, as you may know, and Macy's was having a 10% off friends and family sale. Tip, trick, sales, okay? So I brought this from Macy's. This is the Mac Ultra Dimension Blush in Folk Shore, and this, I have two other ones of these. As I mentioned in my buy this shit video, so if you guys haven't checked out that video, definitely check it out. I will link it down below and you will see something right here. But this blush is beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I swatch it in that video as well. So definitely go check it out. I went to Macy's, I was just shopping up a storm. Like there were some things that I saw in some YouTube videos that I really wanted and I had to go get it. Like, I watched the video, went outside to the store. So, like I said, Macy's was having that 10% off friends and family sale. And the thing with the friends and family sale is you get that sale off of anything. So normally you wouldn't get that sale off of makeup, especially not MAC, because that's a whole nother company. But with this sale, you do get that 10% off. And I know 10% is not a lot. Honestly, it just took off my tax. But that was something I didn't have to pay. As a college student, I appreciated that. Next item that I brought is the Tarte High Performance Clay Pot. And this is the Amazonian Clay. And it is waterproof. And it is in the shade Rose Gold. Now, anybody who knows me knows that I have a Rose Gold obsession. I am in love with Rose Gold. Like, if I could just paint my life Rose Gold, I would do so. So this is what it looks like it's not that big at all and you know but <laughs> this is what it looks like it is absolutely gorgeous and i don't regret this purchase at all honestly i think i will actually use this up because i am that obsessed with rose gold and i probably would use it in an everyday look so the only reason i have not used it yet is because i don't have a liner brush but that might change later on in this video, so be sure to keep watching. So one big shopaholic problem that I do have, if I see something and I see something similar to it, I'm not really inclined to tell myself I don't need both, so I actually will go buy both. So the next item that I brought is the Tarte Tartius Pro Liquid Eyeliner in Rose Gold. Yeah, I was on Rose Gold Overload, during this haul so don't even be surprised just i love rose gold so this basically is just the liquid form of the paint pot and i don't know i just feel like i needed to have both when i got home i realized that i probably didn't need both but the purchase was already made so and i got my 10 percent off as well but this is what it looks like. So on this side, it is a glitter. And then on this side, this is the rose gold pigment. And I thought about taking it back, but I mean, I most likely won't. It is gorgeous. I've swatched this. Um, it's, yeah. Only thing I really do not like about this is the applicator. It is super thin and fine and that sometimes make it really hard to line your eyes but practice makes perfect and best believe i'm going to be using this up so i will be perfect at applying it okay, so as i mentioned i was on rose gold overload so the next item is the huda beauty rose gold palette this palette has been on my list for a very long time and it was always sold out and i didn't want to pay that $65 for it but side note it is worth the $65 did I pay the $65 no I didn't but it is worth it like look at this like it is 
gorgeous like how can you deny yourself this and honestly one thing about this palette that people do not tell you these matte shades are gorgeous like they are just as good as these texturized shades and these shimmer shades like the mattes i found myself reaching for the mattes more like this actually really excites me that the mattes are just as good as the shimmer shadows now i was super super duper excited when this came in the mail so i have already used it and if you check out my jam session video which i will put right here you will see a makeup look that i did using this palette and i do plan to kind of do like a four makeup look look book makeup look book with this palette because i'm in love like i have not put this down i've done my makeup every single day and i have not put this palette down like i've used it in some way shape or form so if you guys haven't got this here's what i'm going to tell you let me tell you how i got it so basically i knew that that was on my list i knew that i wanted that palette i knew how much the palette cost what i did was for Christmas, my boyfriend brought me a Sephora gift card and my dad brought me a Sephora gift card. And I basically just used the gift cards to purchase the palette. So I believe in shopping smart. Like I, I knew there was something that I wanted and I wanted really bad and I know that it wasn't in stock all the time. So I didn't waste my gift card on foolishness. I saved it and waited until I could get something that I actually really really wanted and the weight paid off because I am super happy that I had this palette and I know there's a lot of controversy going on with Huda Beauty and the fact that she does not use models of color to model her makeup but honestly when it comes to this I would be taking a major L if I didn't try it out because it's beautiful it is absolutely beautiful without a doubt if you're skeptical buy it just buy it i honestly believe i would have spent the 65 dollars on this i honestly do i have no doubt in my mind so but i'm just telling you how i smart shop and that's how i was able to get this so next moving on to morphe this is the last couple things that i brought it's just a quick little mini haul but um i brought two items from morphe and i'm also super excited about these so let me show you guys what i got i'm also a big fan of like just ripping open boxes as soon as they are delivered so like i said i literally got home and i just got this package so everything is still in the packaging so i'm gonna just you know be unboxing this for you guys as well so like i said i was on rose gold overload i'm pretty sure the theme of this haul should be rose gold haul that's gonna be in the name of this but these are some makeup brushes now a girl can never have too many brushes okay wait hold up <laughs> Y'all didn't want me to open this, but I did. All right, so, you know, a girl can never have too many brushes, and I mean, how can you deny yourself? It's so beautiful, and I'm super excited because I already see a liner brush, which I needed for that clay pot, so thank you, Morphe. Well, I'm gonna thank myself for ordering this, but yeah, um, I get really lazy when it comes to washing my makeup brushes. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. So I just brought an extra set of brushes so that way when one set of brushes is dirty, I have a whole nother set that I can just fall back on until I have to wash them all. Right, so this next item, because it's springtime, I found that my makeup collection really lacked um color eyeshadows like i'm very happy for this bright pink but all my palettes do that like there's that pop of color and i just needed something with a whole bunch of color so this is the morphe 35b palette b as in boy i don't know if i said that clearly so yeah but let me just open this for you guys and 
I do not currently own a Morphe palette, so this is also very exciting for me. And <laughs> I love this already. So it's just full of a whole bunch of colored shadows and I'm super excited because there's a lot of looks that I've been wanting to do. Like, you know how you feel it itching in your soul that you really want to do a certain look, but you don't have the colors? So that's why I brought this. And I have no regrets because it is beautiful. And ooh, look at that, look at that, look at that. Yeah, so I'm excited. And it has matte and shimmer shades, so I find that to be very beneficial as well. So that is the last thing that I've got. It's just a few little, you know, things that can help you when you wanna buy things that you want and you're like me per se on a budget. Make sure you look for sales. I know you want to go to the Mac store and leave with the Mac bag, but you could go to Macy's and still leave with the Mac bag. And if they're having the friends and family sale, you can get some percentages off. Or shop when the company is having a sale. Be strategic about the things that you want. So I knew with the Huda Beauty palette, I knew it was $65. I knew spending $65 on another palette because I have a lot of palettes. Spending another $65 is not something that I wanted to do. So I made sure that I told the people around me that, hey, I want this. Can you get it for me? And of course, you never want somebody else to pick out your makeup products. It's kind of a sentimental, personal experience. So they brought gift cards and it worked out. So basically, I'm just saying be strategic. Like know how much you're wanting to spend and just work around that and it'll all work out. If you guys want a more in-depth video about how I go about purchasing my makeup products or how I decide what's worth my money or even how I make final decisions on I'm buying this today, I'm about to spend $200 on makeup today, like this video, I will be happy to do that video for you guys. I thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed the items in this haul. Stay, you know, alert for a couple of tutorials using this beautiful palette as well as this beautiful palette and i will see you guys in my next video bye guys